What's going on everyone? Welcome. This is Tim Reviews Everything and I know it's been a long time since I've done reviews. If you guys are interested in reviews, just go through my playlist. They're the easiest way to navigate my channel because I carry two subjects and the other one is uh, I do uh, online forklift training for warehousing and selection training and that is the majority of my videos but I do have a lot of reviews on that you guys might enjoy. But if you're here for eBay, I'm going to start. I'm a new buyer and reseller on eBay. I've been doing this for about four months now. Look for the eBay icon uh, on the thumbnail, and I'm going to start doing a series to hopefully help newbies and hopefully you not let you make the same mistakes that I did. So if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the video. Uh, you know, and this is my eBay store here. If you guys want to check out my eBay store, I got a lot of men's clothing on there and some different things. I got shoes, women's shoes, and I post almost daily, guys. I post almost daily new items, uh, and I've been doing pretty good over there. So I'm pretty excited about it. And in the comment section below, if you're a newbie, leave comments and hopefully I can help you. If you're an experienced eBayer, maybe you can help me. I appreciate it. Let's get to my top 10 things already in four months that I have been doing wrong on eBay. All right, guys, number 10 is looking over product, looking over electronics, looking over shirts. It doesn't matter what it is. When I first got it, I would hold it up, look at it real quick and be like, oh, that's nice. And then I get home and when I start taking pictures, I realize there's sweat stains, there's holes, there's tears. The electronics aren't working. Guys, the majority of people that do garage sales uh, are out in their driveway. Just if it's electronic, alarm clock, a radio, or anything that you have to plug in, have them take it into their garage, plug it in, and make sure it works before you buy it. So looking over your product is number 10. All right, guys, number nine is my opinion. And uh, basically, uh, my personal preference on what I would buy for myself. That is something that you need to throw out the window. Uh, remember, you're not buying for yourself. You are buying for other people. Uh, there is multiple things that I have now that I would never buy for myself, but I'm starting to look on eBay and see what sells. And that is what I'm looking for when I go yard selling, garage selling, thrift shops, you know, estate sales, whatever I go to. Uh, so number nine is my opinion. Out the door, all right? It doesn't matter. All right, guys, number eight, this is something I learned off of TikTokers that I watch, uh, and that is 3XL and upsell. All right. This is something when I first started eBaying, uh, like I said, about four months ago, I was not looking for these type of sizes. And now I look for them. I look for 3XL and up and they sell. I've been selling them and I've been doing good with them. So I'm constantly looking for bigger plus sizes. All right, guys, number seven is packing, packaging your product. Uh, there was times that oh, someone gave me a box. Thank you. I appreciate your box. There'd be like this much gap in there and I just fill it in with paper <laughs> and I ship it out that way. And then I start losing on shipping. Guys, make sure your packaging is light as possible. The box is the size that it needs to be. It's not oversized. Uh, you can resize boxes. I'm learning how to do that. I'm learning how to make my own boxes from cardboard slip sheets. I'm still a little rusty with that, but I'm getting, uh, getting there. I'm getting there uh, with making my own cardboard boxes. Uh, so just making sure that you're shipping your product in the lightest packaging po possible, but it's still going to get there and be uh, safe for the person that bought the product. All right, guys, number six is eBay listings. The one thing I did not realize until probably a month into it, a month and a month and a half into it, is that eBay is constantly auto-filling things in compared to what your title is. So if I, if I list a t-shirt, well, it's going to guess the dimensions, it's going to guess the uh, amount of weight it weighs, and it's going to also automatically, if I'm listing a shirt for uh, $15, well, it's automatically going to put that you can make an offer at $750. It's going to pick half of that price. Well, make sure that you want a $750 offer. So when you put your eBay listings on, make sure you're really paying attention and changing the dimensions of the packaging, to changing the weight, and changing the offer. Maybe you don't want an offer at all. Maybe you just want to sell it and try to sell it outright. Or maybe you want to do it a buy it now with no offer. So pay attention to eBay listings, the auto filling part of eBay. All right, guys, number five is pictures. And this is something that, uh, you know, I use my lighting now. I, I do, like I said, I do YouTube channels. So now I use my lighting to light up the product a little bit better. I'm starting to pose my long sleeve shirts according to some TikTokers that I watched. Uh, just to make it look more professional. Make sure you get as many pictures as possible of tags. Every logo, take a far back picture, then get up close on that logo. Take as many pictures as possible and add in your own things. You know, like I got a thing on the end of mine that says, hey, you know, I combine shipping, I do this, I do that. So make sure your pictures are well lit and you take a lot of them. 
All right, guys, number four is a very important one, and that is overpaying. You know, you get in the hype and you get in that excitement of buying and reselling on eBay. Maybe you made a few sales, so you want to hurry up and go buy some more stuff. And you get in the, you know, you get in that excitement and, and you tend to overpay for stuff because you just can't wait to get it home and list it. Like I said, it's that new thing, that new excitement. I'm making money. Uh, so make sure that you're not overpaying for items. Make sure that you bundle stuff together, especially yard sales that you go to that have price tags on them. Grab a bunch of things together, okay? Maybe it's $16 and take it up to them. Will you take 12 for everything? More than likely, they're going to say yes because they want to get rid of the stuff. Uh, every now and then in a blue moon, I do get people that say, ah, no, it's worth the 16 and then I'll just go put the stuff back. It doesn't matter, guys. If I don't think it's worth the money, and then I'm not going to buy it. But at first, I was buying everything. You know, oh, that looks good. That'll sell. That'll sell. And when you start overpaying, and this also goes into the eBay fees. I didn't realize the eBay fees included uh, shipping and taxes. So that 15.55% shipping charge that you or the eBay uh, charge that you get put on, you need to start putting that into your cost. So uh, one eBayer said it on TikTok and they said it perfectly because that's honestly what I was doing whenever I watched her on TikTok is the rough estimate is 20%. So if you buy something, take 20% off the total and that's what you're probably gonna make from it. So keep that in mind, 20% rough estimate, uh, but overpaying is something that we do a lot as new eBayers. All right, guys, number three is something that I made a big mistake on that I did not do for probably two months, and it really irritated me because I already had this as a kitchen scale. We had this in storage, and I took it out of a box, and I started using it. Uh, weighing your product, guys. Oh, my goodness. So when I first get my product home, I, I inspect it wherever I buy it from, make sure there's no rips or tears or stains if it's a clothing. I come home, I take shirts on a white background. I take shirt, or, yeah, shirts, I take pictures uh, of that shirt. And then I immediately bring it down here. I weigh it. And then I put it into the packaging that I showed you guys, the shipping bag, the cellophane bags. I put it in there. I weigh it, make sure I got the exact weight. And then I will list it. All right. And then it gets a number and it goes in my bin. All right. So that's the way I do things now. I was not doing that at first, but you definitely want to weigh your product. Oh my God, I bought a VHS set, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. I paid $10 for it, it sold for 58. And I just put the weight, I left the weight in on eBay listings. I told you they autofill. So I just left the eBay, I, I didn't know at the time. Okay, eBay said it's, this is the weight, I'm just gonna leave it in, I wasn't weighing anything. I lost $9 on shipping. Actually, I think I lost more than that. It might've been 11. It was $20 to ship this, uh, VHS set because it was five VHSs. It was twenty dollars to ship it, and I think they only paid like nine something in shipping. So I lost a lot of money on the shipping part because I did not weigh it. Make sure you're weighing your product before you list it. All right, guys, the top two here, man, very important. Number two, shipping, 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 shipping. I've been talking this about this the whole time. Uh, countless time I have lost money on shipping. Thankfully, the most I've ever lost was only, uh, well, I just said I lost $9, but for the most part, I've only lost a couple cents or something like that on shipping. Uh, it, it's very irritating. Uh, guys, and also over here, when it says shipping, uh, I know on my end, I don't know why, but it always puts priority mail. If you're gonna do U, uh, USPS Advantage Ground, uh, make sure you change that because it's a lot cheaper for shipping and you want to make sure that uh, the people that you're uh, that are buying your product is not paying a lot for shipping so make sure you're changing the listing as well so if it says usps uh, priority mail make sure you're changing it to ground advantage uh, that is another big uh, thing that I, I made a mistake on and I overcharge people I actually sent money to people I, I would if someone bought something and I realized that I, I would ship dollars in an envelope inside the package because I felt so bad for overcharging people. Uh, guys, I, I don't want to overcharge people for shipping. I, I understand what it's like, you know, in these hard times right now, you want to try to uh, get the cheapest product and you don't want to overpay for shipping. And it's just going to hurt you as an eBayer as well. So make sure that you are weighing your product, measuring your product and getting it in the smallest package as possible, but making sure that product is safe and ship it efficiently. All right, guys, so that brings me to the number one, and number one is something that I have only been working on in the last like three weeks, and boy, oh boy, am I happy that I've been doing it. 
and that is organization. So when you start first selling on eBay, you only have maybe 10 to 15 products. It's not that big of a deal. But when you start getting hundreds of products, it starts becoming a big deal. I had a big, for me, I had a big three-day thing where I sold 16 items in three days and I couldn't find a shirt and I was freaking out. I was like, this is great. This is all I need for being a new eBayer is not to be able to find a shirt and tell this person that I can't find the shirt. I ended up finding this shirt, thankfully, but it put me into a whole new uh, organization thing. I am very organized. I, I I have bins. I have SKU numbers for everything. I'm putting these red tags on everything, so everything's getting a number on my items that I list, and it's and then I have it right here. So I know I can go to bin whatever, and I can look for this SKU number because once you get into the cellophane bags, uh, these bags right here. Once I get sweatshirts and stuff into the bags. Maybe it's a little hard to see, and you don't want to have to sit there and pull out the item and look at it. So now I got a number on it, and I'm organized there. And, you know, so I just look for the number. Uh, this is LS46, which just is a long sleeve shirt, long sleeve 46. So if I put that on an item, I just go in the long sleeve bin, and I look for number 46. It makes it a lot easier for me. So being organized is, guys, it's huge. When you start getting a lot of items, you definitely want to make sure you're organized. So that's it, guys. This is uh, basically, you could call this episode one of eBay. Anything else that I could think of that I think is going to help new people in eBay. And if this video does well, I will continue to do these videos. So please, guys, leave comments. Give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day.